Hey guys, Baby Bubby here. And today we are going to be going over my fursuit evolution. <laughs> I've obviously gotten better at making suits and uh, I'm in the works of making another suit. So I thought we should go over uh, just how much I've improved. I've been making suits for four years and I've gotten quite a lot better. So let's start with suit number one. Firework. Here is my first ever fursuit. Um, felt suit. <laughs> this entire um, head was furred with felt. Besides the beak, that's actually the same fabric as Bee's nose. Let's go over the um, flaws with this fursuit, shall we? Okay, um, I'm wearing him. <laughs> the vision is absolute garbage because I used leggings to make the eye pupil. So that's how I see, which does not work well, obviously. The beak is unlined. He's very crooked. You can see the foam very clearly around the eye. And overall, he's just a very, very poorly made suit. If we look on the inside here, you can see all of the foam. Um, that's obviously not supposed to happen. I just didn't know how to make fursuits. <laughs> so he's uh, not the best, we'll put it that way. My second fursuit I don't have with me because it was given to my cousin. It is this bat right here. Um, as you can see, it was also very poorly made <laughs> and um, does not look good. Um, but I believe it did get um, featured on fursuit making amino. Um, so yeah. There's that. My third head I also do not have with me. This is Zara, my paper fursuit. Now I know there are some very talented paper fursuit makers out there who can pull off something like this, but as you can see, I was not one of them. <laughs> There's not much to say about her. She was just very poorly made, and um, she ended up in the garbage after a while. Fursuit number four, I actually do have with me. It is this. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, I was bored at my grandma's house, so I decided to make this. The number of flaws in this head cannot be counted. There are just too many. Um, the inside of the head is not lined and it does not stay on your head. But to be fair, why would you want to wear this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on, I guess. I have it on, if you can um, classify this as on. Um, it's barely on my head. <laughs> I have to push it down. No eyes. Um, whatever happened, whatever's happening here, um, whatever's happening here. Uh, yeah, it's just not good. I'm gonna go back to B now, that's way more comfortable. And I'm willing to bet that if I did put eyes into this, it would have been the same legging material. And that's not the easiest to see out of. Number five, I also do not have with me, but it is this dog. Um, I was super proud of it at the time, but I have no idea what is going on with that forehead. So, um, I don't want to talk about it. And I did not fur it because at the time I did not know how to fur properly. <laughs> As you can see, I'm still learning, but I would like to think that I've improved from this, whatever this is. <laughs> now, 
Number six, I don't know whether to count this as a fursuit or not, so I'm just gonna slap it in here. It's this cat mask. Um, I made it out of cardboard at my grandma's. Again, I guess I was just bored. Um, I will play a clip now of uh, me acting oddly in it. Hey, it's me here, unnamed mask cat. Aren't I beautiful? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. So as you can see, I was a very odd child. <laughs> um, next up, we have the rest of Firework which I might have somewhere, but I doubt I do. This is it. Um, I tried to finish it for Halloween of 2020. Um, I will also include a picture of me and my cousin um, at that Halloween. Um, I cannot believe I went outside in this thing, but I did. I did not end up wearing the feet talons, if that's what you want to call them. Number eight. This was um, about a year jump. Um, I didn't make anything during 2021, but this was in 2022. I uh, um, started getting back into the furry fandom and I updated that dog that I made. It didn't look any better, <laughs> but I sure thought it did uh, two years ago. Um, so as you can see, I added more foam, I carved it out better but still nothing like the quality that I make now. Number nine. I'm gonna say this is when I started getting better. This is when I started actually putting effort in and trying to improve. So for number nine, we have Graystripe. I have him with me. Here he is. Um, there are loads and loads of issues with this guy, but it's certainly an improvement from the last one we saw. <laughs> when I first made him, um, he didn't have these eyes. He had these eyes, which had the leggings as their pupils, but obviously I ended up getting some good mesh. <laughs> um, so I stopped using this and changed out his eyes to look more decent. Um, loads of issues here. He has no teeth. He's unlined and a cylinder, <laughs> which obviously you don't want a cylindrical shape. Um, you want it rounded. Um, I did not glue his ears well at all. This is just glued on, his hair is. Um, the fur is not good quality, unlike this. But. I suppose I have to try him on, don't I? Here he is on. He is extremely uncomfortable and I did not carve out any room for my nose, so it's kind of being pressed up against the foam right now. Um, his He has a very bad shape job. Um, however, you cannot see the seams unlike bees, so I guess I need to take a, <laughs> a lesson from past me on how to hide seams, don't I? Um, He's okay. I was improving. I was getting better. And this is obviously a step along the way. Um, here's some more pictures of me in his full suit. Um, his head, his paws, his tail. Um, and uh, I might add in a couple funny clips um, of me and him. You know, just to uh, show that, you know, I had good times with him. Hey, Cobalt. Okay, bye. She flew away. Hey, come back. Oh, hi. Do a dance. <laughs> <laughs> You're so beautiful. It's me. Look, it's Gray Stripe holding Gray Stripe. You're holding yourself. I am. Nom. Which way now, Gray Stripe? I go this way. All right, let's go. Let's go this way. Number 10, we have my first Fireheart head base, which is uh, this. It's not good. It's very bad and asymmetrical. 
And um, it was given to my cousin again, <laughs> just because I didn't know what to do with it. Um, yeah, so there's that. Number 11, we have my actual finished Fireheart. Fireheart, here he is. Um, again, I was getting better, I was improving. This time I tried to put a... I always stuff paws in there. I, I always do, um, just because I don't know where else to put them. <laughs> um, those aren't even his. These are like, these are my like first paws I ever made. Um, and I don't want to get rid of them. And these are like the second ones that I made when I was like 10 years old. <laughs> um, but I tried to line him, but it did not work out well at all. And he's extremely uncomfortable. There's glue that jabs into your face there is foam that rubs up against you you know his eyes press into yours <laughs> he's just not comfortable but he is an improvement he has a rounded head he's he's got a, you know a tongue he has teeth well gray stripe had a tongue i'm not sure what happened to it <laughs> um however he is breaking <laughs> at places and I'm not bothering to fix him just because I'm, I'm never going to wear him. You know, I have no reason to fix him. Um, but speaking of wearing him, I guess I'll put him on for you guys. I believe this is the most uncomfortable suit I've made um, just because the foam rubs against my face so much and the lining is so terrible. Um, if the lining were properly inserted, I believe this would be pretty comfortable. I, I actually carved out a place for the nose, it feels like. However, this breathing hole is very small and you do not get good ventilation there. Um, <laughs> I can see rather well, so that's, that's good. That's an improvement, you know? Um, but otherwise, this is not comfortable at all. It's, a, it's not a good suit. Putting on B reminds me how comfortable suits should be compared to this. Um, he does not have paws or anything else besides his head. Number 12, we have Matthew. Of course, everyone knows Matthew. He's been on this channel before. He was the one I originally started out this channel with, so I will always love him. Um, he does have some glaring issues, such as these um, flimsy little teeth. And his mouth and the fact that they're just glued on they're not sewn on the rim of his mouth is not sewn um his eyes um they're just surrounded by fur they have no whites like these do they're just surrounded by fur and that makes his vision much worse than it would be um however he is very he's furred very well and he's lined very well he's lined very nicely um, so overall, overall, he's a good suit. Overall, I love him. Um, he has loads of parts to his suit, which I will show here. Um, I went trick-or-treating with him last year. Um, I'll show some of those photos if I can. Um, and overall, I have a lot of good memories with him. And, um, yeah, I love Matthew. I love him. But B is an obvious improvement. So here's Matthew on, we all know him, um, putting him on, I'm realizing just how limited his vision is, um, and his head is quite big, actually, I, I never noticed that <laughs> until I, uh, until I put him on after me, um, his vision is very limited because of the fur surrounding it, um, but I can breathe very well, and, um, yeah, overall, overall, he's, he's fine. After Matthew, I made a suit for a little girl that lives nearby. Um, I don't have any good photos of it, but I do have a couple uh, pretty bad ones <laughs> and ones before it was done. As you can see, I did not fur it properly. I was not about to spend a lot of money on a child who's going to outgrow it. Um, but I did make it for her, you know, just to be kind. Um, so there's that. For number 14, we have Vaughn. Vaughn is the first dino mask I ever made. 
Um, he's painted nicely. Um, he's painted after a 332nd clone trooper because I'm a nerd who likes Star Wars, the Clone Wars. Um, you can tell it's painted after the trooper, not Ahsoka, because of the blue marking here. Um, but yeah, um, I love how Vaughn was painted, but, um, his jaw does not move very well, so, uh, that's a big downside. I did try very well to make him comfortable, but I think it only harmed in the end. Um, as you can see, his jaw does not move very well when I talk at all. I have to, and I'm eating my balaclava right now that I lined this with. Um, so yeah, overall he looks nice, but he's not very nice to wear. After Vaughn, we have yet another dino mask, Briar. When I first made Briar, she did not have these ears, but after a while, um, I added them, just, just recently, actually. And her glasses refused to stay together, I have yet to fix them again. Um, but I, I love Briar, I love her. Um, she's very pretty. It's technically not my design because Luna the Dino uh, was the one who gave me this design and was like, yeah, yeah, use it. Um, but I love her so much. Uh, let's put her on. Here she is. Um, just a, a typical Dino mask. You know, there's nothing at the back. Just my head. <laughs> Um, I don't know, maybe I'll throw her one day, but I'm, I, I doubt it, I doubt I will. But, you know, may, maybe, it might happen, it might happen. Um, but yeah, so here's Briar, I love Briar. So yeah, there's Briar. Number 16 is a very well-known suit on this channel, Brownie! If you've ever looked at my channel even a little bit, you will have seen Brownie. Brownie is like what made my channel popular, so um, she is a very well-known dino mask here. <laughs> um, I have up on my channel of making her, if you are interested. It's a short somewhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love Brownie. I love Brownie a lot. No shock here, it's just Brownie. Um, she's fully furred. And uh, everything's glued on, and she has these big ears, and her jaw moves well. Everything's all nice about her, so yeah, there's Brownie, my 16th suit. My 17th suit is B, the one I'm currently wearing. Uh, I put on her paws to show you that she has these beautiful paws. Um, not my pattern, I don't lay claim to it. Um, yeah, so here's B. Um... <laughs> Um, her mouth, uh, fully, uh, teeped up. She has gums. Um, she has sort of follow me eyes. I don't think I did that properly, but, you know, good enough, good enough. <laughs> um, she, th she has the softest fur. Um, I've done all that I can to make her look nice. However, I do realize I should have shaved the fur instead of using Minky so that you wouldn't see these seam lines, but I still love her very much. My 18th suit is currently being made. He's not done yet, but um, I made most of his head base today. Here he is, he's being made. He's going to have floppy ears and that's why this ear is half cut off. <laughs> but um, his follow me eyes work properly. <laughs> and um, I'm very happy with how he's turning out so far. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Obviously, he's not near done yet, but um, he's turning out very well. His lining is very comfortable, and um, he's pretty light right now. Um, and I'm very happy with how he's turning out. Very easy to breathe and stuff, you know? And his, uh, his follow me eyes work like they should, and they follow you wherever you go. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, I've definitely improved in my suit making over the years. So if you're a young fur and you're thinking about starting to make suits but you're scared because it won't turn out right or you know you don't think you'll improve just look at me you know i started out with something that was absolutely terrible in my opinion it was it was very bad and it was almost unwearable and i walked around my neighborhood with that thing on and 
You know, if, if I could start there and then get where I am, then, then you can too, you know? Um, so I would encourage anyone who's thinking about trying to make suits, definitely go for it. And make sure to get nice materials. <laughs> Of course, if you are young, and I understand if you can't get your hands on the right materials, but please, at least get fur. Don't do what I did and just get felt. At least get some sort of cheaper fur, <laughs> um, because it will look way nicer. Such as with Graystripe, I only got cheap fur with him, and he looked way nicer than my first suit, which was only furred with felt. So if you're thinking about starting, please do. We need more makers in the fandom. You know, I'd, I'd love to see your creativity out there. And if you're so, if you so want to tag me in your in your first fursuit making, and I'll encourage you to keep going, because we are a fandom of people who are creative, and accepting and positive. So I'd love to spread more of that. You know, that's what I'm here for. If you stuck around until this point. Thank you very much for watching my video, and um, see you next time. Be encouraging. Goodbye!